managerial accounting, the budgeting process. We've uh, been doing a lot of operating budgets and financial budgets. And here's the last one we're going to do in this problem. And it's the budgeted income statement. And uh, we'd also call this the pro forma income statement because even before the year begins, I'm going to know what my net income is uh, if all goes according to plan, according to the budget. So you'll remember from the first budget we prepared, the sales budget, uh, we said that sales for the year was going to be $175,000. That was the number of units you're going to sell times the selling price. Then uh, if you'll look at the production budget, You'll recall that beginning finished goods inventory were going to be 4,000 units. Now, I need to put a dollar value here on beginning finished goods, not units. So what should I value beginning finished goods at? Well, what did we just find that the cost was of a bottle of water? Well, the cost was 34 cents. So how about if I take the 4,000 units in beginning finished goods and value them at the cost of a bottle of water, 34 cents. That means that beginning finished goods is probably $1,360 of cost. Cost of goods manufactured, that was the last um, schedule we just did, we said was $60,516. And so 60516 is our cost of the goods we hope to produce in the next period or the next year. That means that cost of goods available for sale would be the beginning finished goods cost plus the cost of the goods manufactured. So COGAS would be $61,876 if I did my math right. Now, ending inventory, you'll recall from the uh, production budget, that second budget we produced, uh, ending finished goods was going to be 6,000 units. So 6,000 units, again, times 34 cents, which is the cost to produce one bottle of water. Ending finished goods will probably have a value of $2,040. Thus, Cost of goods available for sale, 61,876 minus ending finished goods of 20,000, uh, excuse me, 2,040 will give me cost of goods available for sale of 59,836. So the cost of goods available for sale minus the ending finished goods gives me COGS, cost of goods sold. You'll recall if I re subtract cost of goods sold from my sales, I get my gross margin. So gross margin is going to be 115,164, the difference between sales and the cost of goods sold. Do you remember we did a selling administrative and general budget? Yeah, we did. And that budget was based not on the units produced, but what? On the units sold. So. If I look at the total for the selling administrative and general uh, expense budget, it came to 28750 So if I subtract my expenses from my gross margin, I'll get my income from my operations before taxes. And that comes out to be $86,414. Well, you got to pay taxes, don't you? And in this problem, it says our tax rate is 30%. So if I take 30% of $86,414, I find my taxes is a whopping $25,924. Well, that must mean the difference, or 70%, is left for net income. So $86,414 minus our taxes of $25,924 means I have a bottom line even before the, be the beginning of the year, I'm projecting that net income is going to be $60,490. It's great to start the year knowing where you hope to end up.